maybe the best top to bottom system performance of any night that since I've been doing these and probably the most efficient start you've ever seen in your entire life from Bailey Ober here. A special performance. Don't care who this is against. Complete game gives up two runs, both on solo homers, 10 strikeouts, no walks. He only needs 89 pitches to throw a complete game. He throws 70 strikes in this outing. 70 of his 89 pitches are strikes in this outing. Just a strike-throwing machine determined to throw a complete game today, Bailey Ober was. Very impressive outing. Very unique outing. We'll get to more on that in just a sec, but again, look at his line. Complete game, four hits, two runs. Again, the two home runs. Ten strikeouts, no walks. 89 pitches, 70 of them for strikes. That is just insane. And we've got tons of fun facts from this one. Sarah Lang's such a great fun fact source, by the way. Uh, Throws out that this was the first time anybody's had a complete game with 10 strikeouts on fewer than 90 pitches since David Cohn's Perfecto in 1999. I did some additional digging on what we could get uh, from StatHead at, at Baseball Reference. Throwing in that wrinkle of 70 strikes, it's not been done uh, that we have record of. David Cohn's perfect perfect game, he threw 68 strikes in that one. So an incredibly unique outing for Bailey Ober. I know, by the way, the Twins scored 10 runs. Manuel Margot, Carlos Correa, and Jose Miranda all had three hits. So it was just an incredible uh, game all around for the Twins who won 10-2. to two. Moving on over to St. Paul and more great stuff going on here. Junior Severino. Uh, last year's co-minor league home run king with 35 home runs gets into one here a blast he has been super hot lately struggled came out the gate looking really bad had a 555 ops on may 21st and here we are on june 22nd and it's up to 822 because this doesn't even include his four for five game today this was his previous 101 plate appearances entering today. He had a 1208 OPS. And the crazy thing for him, 24 strikeouts and 21 walks. Uh, really just putting together great plate appearances. Brooks Lee's hot as well. Matt Wallner has been hot for them. So the Saints are just lighting it up right now. And you see here 11 straight wins for the Saints. That is a franchise record for the St. Paul Saints. So they are... Something to see. Something to see. Charlie Soto throwing 98.4 miles per hour here in the first inning. We'll take a look at his line in just a moment. But first off, Walker Jenkins. Walker Jenkins hits his first home run of the year. Of course, missed a ton of time. Got injured on opening day. This had a 103.2 mile per hour exit velocity. 103.2. Broadcaster said that would be a home run in all 30 major league ballparks. He got into that one. So wonderful to see Walker Jenkins healthy and hitting bombs. That was his only hit of the night. Junior Severino, again, 4 for 5 with that 14th home run of the season. Uh, Switch hitter on the 40-man roster. You know, so many guys clicking right now for the Twins up and down their system. Great to see. Charlie Soto, again, showed that he topped out at 98.4. Four shutout innings from him, two hits, three walks, and five strikeouts on 72 pitches. A sweep. That is rare. So we have these rare kind of performances and a system-wide sweep tonight. So, man, what a great night for Twins baseball. Thanks for watching this one. We'll talk again tomorrow.